Hey guys, I got sound turned back on. Uh, I think I, I got to adjust the bottom camera still, but while I'm out here, I decided to put feed in the feeders <clears throat> down, down below. Deer wiped them out last night. Um, but, and we got rain coming tonight, so first and foremost, I guess I was trying to empty the trays, these bottom uh, the tr little tr seed catcher trays, trays and um, because that's those can also when the seeds dropped in it and it gets moisture kind of stay wet and kind of gunk up on you so not good for the birds if they try to eat that so try to clean that out but we have um, we have rain coming tonight so I didn't want to put too much feed in the feeder that's one thing when you it, always look at the weather forecast before you fill your feeders to see what's in the future if it's sunny, you might can get away with putting a little more feed, but if not, if rain is expected like it is tonight, uh, don't put much feed in it because you'll end up having to throw it out. Uh, I mean, if it's a short little shower and you have very little feed in there, you can move it around with a tool or something to see if you can keep let the air and the sun uh, to dry it out. But uh, if you pour a lot of feed in there and have it and it's real deep, that moisture kind of gets down in it and it just settles in it. Uh, even if you try to move it around, if it's deep enough, you're not going to get it to where you, you're able to remove that moisture. And that can cause uh, bacteria and mold, which you don't want uh, because that can cause viruses and, and uh, just all sorts of other uh, issues. So um, anyway, sorry I interrupted the activity this morning. My microphone down uh, below was getting a lot better signal than the microphone above. Manufacturer, uh, instead of me buying another hundred dollar microphone for each camera uh, or the one that's defective uh, they suggested that I switch them out and see if it's the camera or the microphone of course I didn't realize that there would be ants in the uh, housing of the uh, each camera but I had to disassemble both cameras and uh, try to remove the ants and try to some ant spray or something on the inside not where the birds can get to it but uh, just to kind of keep the ants out. Apparently they were wintering in the uh, little cavity there uh, that they're not supposed to be in. Uh, but this is the south and uh, I'm considering building a box around this pole here where the cameras are housed, but I'm afraid well, I'll get wasp and all the yellow jackets and all that nesting there. So that's probably not a good idea either. But uh, anyway, I'm supposed to be getting a bird bath today, I think, uh, and I might be putting that for the bottom cam viewers, I don't think the top cam's going to be able to see it, but for the bottom cam viewers, uh, put it kind of back to where, where you can see it to where, you know, if birds come, you can kind of see them uh, land on that as well. Uh, just part of the uh, attempt to try to make this a more decorative, excuse me, <coughs> a more decorative uh, background and, and feeder than it uh, already is. But uh, I appreciate you guys uh, bearing with me. Birds are kind of mad at me probably this morning. But, but when I leave, they come right back. Um, you know, but uh, sorry for the disruption of the bird activity and the cameras offline this morning. Hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully the bottom mic will work. If not, I'm going to have to take it offline again, order a new microphone. Well, actually, they might ship me a new one uh, to replace the one I have if it's defective, as I think it is. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks everybody. Thanks for all those who subscribe. Uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Thank you.